Today I'm gonna answer one question, should you play Trap Tricks in Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel? That is the Trap Tricks deck that we're gonna be using for today, it is a pretty standard version of Trap Tricks here. We're playing 3 copies Mormilio, 2 copies Dionia, 3 copies Mantis, 1 copy Visikulu, 3 copies Purika, 2 copies Arachno Kampa, and also the Trap Cards we're playing 3 copies Halotia, with 1 copy of the Grey Digger Strapho, 1 copy of the Floodgate, and 1 copy of the Bottomless, pretty standard stuff. And of course the 1 copy of the Trap Trick Garden as well for the extra normal summon. On top of that our Parallel X Heat is a cool extender that you can go for, and we also have for the hand chops and staples, 3 copies maxi, 3 copies as well, some 2 copies called by the grave, with 2 copies of the triple attack trust that basically allows us to search any normal trap card which is just amazing, also evenly matched, we basically have 3 copies of evenly matched this way, with 1 copy of the cross out and 2 copies of imperm. Oh and I also forgot the 1 copy of Nibiru which is here as well. As of the extra deck, nothing really complicated, we are playing just 1 copy of the Flizia, 1 copy of Aloromeros, 1 copy of Pinguluka, 1 copy of the Arepos, 1 copy of the Kuleria and 2 copies of Sera. You can play 3 copies of Sera, and I would highly suggest you to try out 3 copies copies of Sera, but I currently play two copies only. As of the other cards, we play one copy of Axis Code. This is not a necessity, you can definitely switch it for something else and one copy of the Goddess, which sometimes comes up. Also, it's also a cool extender for the deck, and also we've got the Evil Swarm Execution Knight, Abyss Dweller, and also the Tornado Dragon and Baguska for the other Rank 4 Exige choices. One small thing to keep in mind is that I play the deck in the Duelist Cup, because currently, by the time of recording the video, Duelist Cup is available. And a quick message, there are more should you play videos in the channel, which you can check out, link will be down in the description, but for now, I'm gonna leave with the gameplay and answer the question should you play trap tricks in Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel? Okay, that hand is actually looking really really nice. Now I'm gonna start by normal summoning my Pudika and then the reason why I do that is because I want to search out the field spell which does give me a second normal summon. I'm definitely gonna go for that. Then I'm basically gonna link off my Pudika into a copy of Sarah just because when I normal summon my Mantis activate the effect you already know I'm gonna be able to search out a trap card so that's even better. Now let's just go ahead do this beautiful let's activate the effect we're gonna be adding one monster and here i will basically go for a extender in that case arachno kampa just seems to be the best option and that will allow me to also activate Sarah's effect set one whole trap now unfortunately i did draw two of them so the only real target here is either bottomless trap core or just holotea i'm gonna go for holotea the reason why is because i want to discard one of my holoteas for the other one and that will just give me an additional card to work with. Now, you don't have to do this. By the way, you could just activate the effect of um, Polotea from your hand, discard something, then you can activate Sarah's effect, specimen from the deck, a copy of Dionea, and that will just give, give you the ability to just bring back any trap card from your graveyard to the hand, which in that case would have meant that it probably was better to just set the third trap hole card, but I still went for this play because it's not that bad. Now for my first XC summon, I'm actually gonna go for Deep Pudica because Pudica is just amazing, it's just a really cool card to go for, and that will give me the ability to also add one monster, which is gonna be an additional extender, and that is why we play the one copy of Visichulu here, because we just wanna have an additional extender other than Arachno Kampa, and that is absolutely beautiful. Then we're gonna activate the effect of the Trap Trick Garden here, I'm gonna be able to just banish my Pudika from the field because it's not that amazing you know he could keep it but I feel like it's just not that necessary and just go ahead specimen from the graveyard one more body to work with then what we're gonna do is we're gonna use two of my monsters and I'm gonna go and summon either the Abyss Dweller or Tornado Dragon it really depends on you you could also go for the Alumerus which does give you an additional body to work with you can go into Kuleria as well but I just really prefer to go into the Tornado Dragon in that case just to see what the opponent does because in this current meta people do play a lot of Macro stuff so it's just not a bad option to go for then we're gonna space summon two bodies and the reason why you want to go into your non-insect monster is because when you special summon arachno kampa you're locked into only plants or insects and that is just not very good and then we're gonna send the holotea that i was just uh, set on the field previously and then we're gonna use two of the monsters and just go into the Eraflesia because we still have one whole trap in the deck that is also a good reason why you shouldn't set the uh, all of the hole traps is because you want to have at least one available for the Rafflesia and that is basically my field now you can definitely play around with these things you can also go for a Bizdor if you want to you can also go for the Baguska if you want to now activating the effect of the Stere Pulley Street and I actually feel like it's just not a bad idea to pop it now but I'm gonna wait because my friend Purli is also a thing and you want to definitely target the my friend Purli. now that is really really unfortunate here he just got rid of two of my back row basically two of my hole traps but okay dude we're still having some things now activating the my friend Purli, and that is the target which we're gonna just tornado dragon here so by detaching the dionea we're gonna just pop it and then we're gonna be also able to bring back the dionea eventually which does give us the ability to reset a whole trap which is just a cool bonus that we can go for as well now activating the triple tactics talent and uh, he's gonna take control of one of my monsters which is a little weird considering the fact that 
uh, really none of them do that much, but okay, I mean, we're gonna go like this. We're gonna bring back the Dionea. The reason being is that we're gonna see what he takes control of, and we're gonna be then able to bring back a whole trap. And if he doesn't take control of the Tornado Dragon, we're gonna be basically having a free trap card, or we're gonna force him to just take the Tornado Dragon and pop it. Okay, so he did take it, and now I cannot actually use the effect of the Yonea in the same chain. Okay, that was a misplay. I just forgot about it, but you cannot actually use the effect of the Yonea in the same chain like this. Now he's gonna proceed to the battle phase, just go and do his own thing. And it's a little bit annoying that we're gonna have to deal with this, but he's gonna go into Zeus here. Of course, going into the Zeus, and I'm gonna be chaining my Rephlesia effect here. Okay, now activating Zeus's effect. That is gonna be quite problematic. I couldn't chain the Rephlesia on time, so I am gonna chain it now, but it's just gonna be whatever. And the only mistake that I really did was just not uh, playing playing Dionea too early. I should have waited with the Dionea just to have some sort of a follow-up on the field as well. But that was just a small misplay by me. Now he's gonna activate second copy of the Purly Street. And that's it, passing turn. Okay, so we do have some things though. I might have misplayed a little bit, but we definitely have some plays. We can just bring back something with the Holotea here. Let us just proceed to activate Holotea. Also, we can activate Visuchulo's effect, which is also kind of good. But we're gonna firstly go with the Holotea. We're gonna banish it to special summon onto the field. And a good target to go for would definitely just be the Dionea again. Sera is also not terrible, but I prefer the Dionea because we can just go into Sera anyways. And this way we can also use the effect, bring back a whole trap, which is just gonna be a copy of the floodgate trap call since versus poorly it is a little bit better than the bottomless then we're basically gonna go again into the sera after we go into the battle phase of course and no matter what he does i can just floodgate trap call it and it's not and shouldn't be that big of a deal so we're gonna just link that off we also have the cold buy and uh, even through a lot of interruptions we can still manage to you know recapitalize on it by going into the trap place okay activating in the draw phase the poorly delicious memory so he's gonna discard the second triple tactics talent. Special summoning a copy of the poor Lily. Now he can add a uh, poorly card. And I'm not gonna chain my floodgate trap hole yet. And he's gonna go and uh, go for my friend poorly. Now activating this effect immediately to XC summon. And uh, I am then gonna be chaining my floodgate trap hole. The reason for that is simply because if I chain my floodgate trap hole, he can just continue extending from there. However, if I go like this, I might have a better chance. Now activating this effect, and it really just doesn't matter that much. We are gonna change the effect of the trap core, of course. I kind of wanted him to go firstly into the mind frame poorly so I can even pop it eventually, but you know, he didn't go for that, so that's whatever. And now I can change the effect of my Sera, which basically allows me to special summon anything I want. So Marmilio is always a cool option. Now, popping this might not even be that amazing, so maybe I could go for Pudica, just banish a monster, but it doesn't really do that much. The Yonea again gives me a follow-up, which is better than nothing. And I am gonna go for the Yonea again, simply because it's just a really cool card. To keep recycling resources and i'm just gonna bring back again the floodgate trap hole because it is just nasty to deal with for my opponent also sarah's effect allows me to activate it and reset to the field no actually set to the field not reset the holotea for next turn he's gonna be able to activate my friend poorly now and just play the game though which is a little bit annoying for me of course the cool thing is he actually doesn't have that much going on i mean he can only go into one monster and then you know the quick play won't have a discarding folder for it so that's kind of good um revealing the poorly revealing my friend my friend poorly and also called by the grave his best shot to just search out the my friend poorly as a follow-up for sure now activating the second copy of it of course and that was all he can really go for now it is my turn and it's time to just capitalize on all of these resources that i just brought back to the field now we are gonna start by normal summoning marmilio here and we're gonna activate the effect no actually no i cannot use it because i don't have any more hole traps okay i forgot about it but anyways we're gonna use the holotea now we're gonna space summon a body to work with also i can special summon from the effect of sarah monster and what i want to go is i want to go for purika simply because it's a removal that does the job pretty well you know and i will just banish the plump here which is gonna be really nice then we're gonna be using some monsters here we're gonna just straight up go into atipus by using the sarah also using the monsters with the least amount of attack points and that will just give me enough damage probably to win the game here on the spot now I can use Sera, I can use the effect of Aripus and I can negate the effects of this. Also, it allows me to... No, actually, let's just negate the effect of all of them. Might as well just all do, do that. And then I'll be able to just target one of those cards and banish it by banishing a trap card, which is going to be the bottomless trap. I can just banish the poorly and then I can just attack for game. And that is how you beat poorly with the Trap Tricks deck. I'm telling you guys, this deck is absolutely amazing. Trap Tricks is one of my favorite control decks to play with. It is also just really, really good. And that was game one. Pretty nice start.
Even though I made some small misplays, it wasn't enough for him to capitalize and I won the game. I'm um, activating the effect of the circular and sending to the graveyard the Sigma. I'm gonna chain Max, see if he doesn't have as uh, she doesn't have as blossom or cold by the grave. I don't know. Okay, he has the cross out. Well, I'm just gonna skip to the part where the combos are over because this is gonna take a while, dude, for sure. Six and a half hours later. Okay, so that is definitely a nasty board. He even summoned the um Ibli to my side of the field which is absolutely nasty well i'm gonna have to just start by normal summoning my mantis and i'm gonna have to try and you know link it off or go to the battle phase or whatever uh that is gonna be definitely hard to deal with though changing also the effect of the heat so and also the dark fluid yep sending to the graveyard the fusion summon mo the fusion monster and now i get to add from deck to hand whatever i want here i'm just gonna go for an extender because we're definitely gonna need that and chaining also draw and lock board that is pretty nasty of you but okay so now i can just link off both my monsters into Alsa. and can i even bring something back from his graveyard i think i actually can that's even better yeah well that's exactly what i'm gonna do because i don't want to waste my battle phase on nothing so might as well just go for that okay and i'm gonna be also activating the effect as soon as i can well they just use the effect of also and bring something back which is basically gonna be the trans code that is actually huge by the way chaining imperm to it so i baited out uh, so i baited the imperm with this i forced him out to use the imperm and he also used an additional card to deal with my stuff that is even better now i'm just gonna go set the holotea use the effect immediately which is gonna allow me to continue extending my place i'm gonna discard the floodgate trap hole Changing the effect of the um, Desavorm, okay. Believe it or not, we still have one more play to go for, which is better than nothing, guys. I'm just gonna set the Grave Digger Strapco, and then we're gonna use the effect of Vesikulu here. Hopefully giving us the ability to do something. Uh, changing the Trap card, yeah, that is expected. Bro, this is... Uh, do I even have anything more than that? Uh, I'm so close to winning the game, but dude, he just has so many interruptions. Yeah, Laplacing is just gonna be really difficult to deal with here. I, unfortunately, he has an Omni Negate with it. He also has removal and whatnot. Send one random card from your opponent's hand to the graveyard. I'm gonna change the Arachno Kampa just to save it. And yeah, the Omni Negate is out of the way as well. Dude, this is just... The power of Matme here is not bad at all i mean this definitely not bad at all and now he sent to the graveyard my arachno kampa and also the vesiculo and now i basically have no more plays so yeah that was it guys i mean we tried our best we just needed one more body to work with i came really close considering the fact that i was going second with trap tricks without even having evenly matched or whatever okay activating the effect of marta okay summoning it and i have zero hand traps so he can just do whatever he wants wow yeah okay i'm gonna just skip to the part where the combos are over because i have nothing to do and this is full combo anyways okay so i'm gonna start by normal summoning the pudica his board is kind of a decent board i mean he added also the returnia i think it was no actually he went for vadis for some reason and chaining ash blossom to my pudica that is really annoying actually it definitely hurting me but i do have the cold by which is just straight up beautiful and i'm gonna be able to negate it bam bam pow okay chaining vadis yeah i mean i kind of expected that but what can i do about it i still need to go for the cold by dude come on now he's gonna be able to exceed summon twice more which is really annoying but i really didn't have much more to do i needed to go into the ash blossom negate dude now he's gonna use the effect of both of them xc summon that is gonna be really nasty to deal with okay going for michaelis with one of the xc summons the other one should be the negation effect one and also go into the ass of you why do you go into ass of you dude you should have went for the other one what was the name of it bro just go into the uh gibrini this is a monster effect negation what are you doing chaining also the effect of michaelis immediately for some reason to get rid of my pudica fine dude now i'm gonna use the effect of my triple tactics trust and i'm gonna get the evenly matched because yeah no actually not the evenly matched oh i don't actually play triple tactics talent well i am gonna have to get the holotea i'm gonna get the holotea actually uh not gonna set it onto the field this is gonna be an additional extender that is why i'm doing it like this now let's just go activate the trip trap trip garden and now changing the effect of this to basically negate it but that's fine with me it's not that big of a deal chill guys believe it or not we still have a little bit more plays that we can work with uh no actually you might not even have any more plays to work with this is just gonna be a halotia but that doesn't really do that much yeah okay that really isn't that big of a deal it's not gonna make that big of a difference come on 
I just lost the game. Okay. Well, that was the end of the video, guys. And to answer the question, should you play Trap Tricks in Master Duel? I think not. I hate to say it, but the deck is not very good right now. Going first, the deck is pretty good, but going second, it is just mostly gonna lose the game. There's also a whole bunch of different things that counter the deck. There's also the fact that sometimes you brick with the deck. But yeah, that is my final opinion. If you enjoyed the video, consider dropping a like and subscribe. Also, comment below what you think about Trap Tricks. And if you wanna check out more of my should you play videos, somewhere on the screen, there should be a playlist for that or if you want to check out other videos not just should you play once you can do that as well in the channel and i will see you in the next video have a great day